salute, salute, salute. You know who it is. Nocturnal Thoughts, man. Proper salute was happening to everybody. Real quick video, maybe not, then I'm getting out the way. So, the aftermath, my, my thoughts, my reaction. I'm already prepared to lose a whole lot of subscribers because right now, a lot of people is bashing or criticizing Jamel Charlo. And in a way, I'm really not gonna do that. In a way, I'm kind of coming to his defense to a certain extent. You know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people don't wanna hear that right now. So they probably gonna go the other way. It is what it is. Um, but Jamel Charlo versus Canelo. You know, call yourself the lion, lion's den. And after you lose, people gonna come out with all the, you know, you a cub or you a cowardly lion. Um, just gonna reverse it. So whatever your monarch, monarch is or whatever, whatever, whenever you a fighter, you whatever little slogan you try to live by, when you go out and you lose, everybody usually just gonna flip it. It's kind of, it, we all do it. It's not creative, it's not really original. It's just to be expected when you lose, you know, you go, oh, you a kitten. You're not a lion, you a kitten, you a cub. You, you purr like a cat, you a cowardly lion, etc. so on and so forth. That's just the way the game is. Um, did he disappoint his fans? Did he just did he did he disappoint boxing fans? Yes, he did. Um, but I don't feel like it's fair to overly criticize him or crucify him. You know, I just I can't do it. Yeah, I can't salute his performance. That wasn't that wasn't a performance that you can salute. But that's not a performance I feel like you should you should just. Um, you know off with his head decapitate him you know, he's trash he's 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 a coward he's this and he's that and I can't do that to that level I feel like that's overkill especially in this situation we if you box the fans and you follow then you should look at it like first of all not every gladiator battle goes to the death goes out on the shield not every warrior, every battle that they go, they most warriors got that one battle, that one rival where you know it's kill or be killed and it should go to somebody going out on a shield. But not all battles come to that conclusion. Not all battles go like this. Some, you know what I'm saying? Um, that really was never his battle. That was never his shield to go out on. You asking a man to climb, a, to die on that hill, die on that mountain, that was never technically his mountain to climb. In the first place, of anybody's, it was his older brothers or his, the bigger twin, that was Jamar Charlo's fight. That was his battle to fight. That was his shield to go out on. That was his mountain to climb, honestly. And even in the build up to this fight, you could see they tried, you tried to, it was thin. It was a very thin little story narrative that you could kind of stretch and undisputed versus undisputed. But that was a stretch. That was a stretch. He, even Canelo really couldn't find a way. Like he, him and his brother doubted my skills. They was talking a lot of shit. So I had to prove, prove to him that I, my skills are real. And it's like, his, that just was a very thin story. Like there was really never any, uh, build up our issue or a real conflict between Jamel and Canelo you know what I'm saying so it was to me that really wasn't Jamel in a sort of a way daring to be great but really it was more like stepping up to a challenge and technically the challenge was really never his to begin with so that to me is asking a lot for somebody to to go up two weight classes off of a layoff 
dealing and, and coming back from a hand injury, a broken hand, right? And I know people, oh, he said he a lion, he a lion. He wasn't fighting like a lion. He was this, he was that, he tucked his tail, he was cowardly lion. And I get that, I understand that. Like he didn't fight with the ferociousness of a hungry lion. First of all, when you talk about lions, you know, I love watching Animal Planet, Predators, Animal Kingdom, and how that shit goes, predator versus prey. When you look at lions, lions don't always, they don't normally hunt the bigger prey. Usually the bigger prey is safe. They usually hunt the smaller prey, the, the youngest prey, an injured animal, but they usually going for the weakest out of whatever they hunting, whether it be antelope or whether it be, uh, if it's a bigger animal, it's usually a baby fresh out, barely walking. You know, they normally don't attack. They normally don't try to attack bigger animals. And when they do, it's when they own a, when it's desperate, when they starve it. So you got a, a full lion, like lions you can see can be domesticated as well. You see these rich Saudi oil people with lions, you know, you know Tyson had Siberian tigers, but you know, you see people with lions like house pets. Lions can be domesticated, you know what I'm saying? But you've seen Jamel Charlo going up to this fight, leading up to this fight. It wasn't like being ferocious. It wasn't like being, I'm a hungry, starving lion. You could see he had a different approach. He was a lot more docile and laid back and domesticated. And even in his all access, it was him with his family. He wasn't going into this clubber lane mentality training you know what i'm saying in the in the dungeon looking at it you know like i'm just dead set on this canelo and i'm a, i gotta destroy him he's been on my radar for years and this is my mountain i gotta defeat this mountain that was never the case so even leading up to this fight you could tell that he was like respecting the situation trying to process and, and overcome the situation not letting it get too big and we've seen in the past where even when he fought Brian Castanio for Undisputed the first time, the, the moment seemed like it was too big and he had to make adjustments for the second fight. You see him when he fought Tony Harrison, he he didn't just separate and, 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 and secure that victory. He had to come back and make adjustments and do better the second time. It's like a B student that when they get a B on the test and they get a chance to study and retake it, then they can get an A. So going into this fight, we seen Jamel Charlo come back from a hand injury. That's one thing I'm a salute because coming back from a, a broken hand and you a boxer, that ain't even nothing to just sneeze at. That's not nothing to just, just brush to the side and be like, oh, he just came back from a hand injury. I know people, y'all wanna shit on working people when some of y'all just sit behind computers and complain about carpal tunnel or something but even just a working person like myself truck drivers you know what i'm saying blue collar people i've seen them deal with a rotator cup injury and damn they never come back to work or a back injury and damn they never come back to work or you, you stub your toe and damn they never come back to work so somebody, a boxer, and they break their hand to come back and fight, I gotta salute that off the rip. Canelo has injuries too, salute that off the rip. To go up two weight classes, I salute that off the rip. Because, come on, let's be honest, in America, most of us are unhealthy than a motherfucker. And most of us can't even lose 15 pounds. Can't even, you start off with a New Year's resolution and then by, March, you ain't lost not one pound and you right back where you started and you wait until whole next year to restart a resolution just to lose 15 pounds. Most of us can't even stay disciplined enough to, to cut 15 pounds of fat off. A lot of us, a lot of us in America, like right now, 
myself included. I'm a buck 90. I feel small. This is like a lot of trolls finna attack me now. Probably the best opportunity you gonna got because right now, all my energy and my effort is going into something a little bit more important to me than, you know what I'm saying, having me a muscle bound. So right now, probably the weakest you gonna find me. A buck 90, I feel small and weak. I would like to be up to about 205, 210 and feel solid. Maybe 215, 220 is pushing it for me. I'm only five foot nine. 220, your conditioning, you know, you start to have issues with just your, your knees and you know, I'm getting too old for all that 225 pounds and we start getting fat. I'm gonna spill over my frame. 210, 215 and being still conditioned and toned and cut strong. I would love to be there. But I already, I know for me, the discipline, the regime, the amount of effort and energy to, to put on 15 pounds, 10 pounds of quality weight, quality muscle, that ain't nothing that's easy to do. That's just putting on the weight. Most of us Americans really don't even have the discipline, the dedication, and the, the, the moxie and the integrity to go into the gym and work hard and put on 10, 15 pounds of quality strength muscle without getting all fat and flabby and, you know, uh, bulking, dirty bulking. Like most of us can't even go put in 10, 15 pounds of clean, lean muscle legitimately. And that's just putting on the weight. That ain't putting on fighting weight. That ain't putting on 10 pounds, 15 pounds and keeping it to where you can still fight. So most of us can't do that. I like to see most of us try before we just throw Jamel Charlo and say he's not a great fighter, he trash, he a coward, this, that, and the third. Even the go up weight classes, I'm impressed. Now, his performance, he's fighting to survive, not um, not going all out, not, not um, you know, not putting that, that, if he would have put in that extra effort, he, he couldn't win. He was outgunned. But if he would have just put in moments where he would have sold out, moments where he would have went for broke, I think he still would have kept the, the fans' respect. You know, if you didn't, if you didn't, if you didn't like fight just to survive, and then say, "Well, I didn't get knocked out," I think that's where the fans is just, you know, they gonna. That, they, that just stuck in their mind. That's, that's, you know, that just echoed in their mind where they're like, you went in here just for a cash grab and you went in here to survive 12 rounds. And we and they can't respect that. And even though, you know, Rocky, most people love Rocky and Rocky was all about the underdog technically just surviving the fight against the champion. That's all Rocky, the first one, the original, the real OG movie Rocky is really just that somebody that's an underdog fighting against the champion and wanting to survive 12 rounds now Jamel Charlo is an undisputed champion so we don't expect him to go into the ring with another champion and have the mentality of I just want to survive like you want to go in there and you want to do what it takes to try to get the victory and if that includes going out on your shield then so be it that's what boxing fans expect and that's what we expected you would you would have uh wanted from yourself so yeah there is some shame that is um sprinkled in that loss where you should be like you know what i let my fans down i got my head held high but i do i i, I do owe to my fans a better performance i am a little disappointed in myself i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board make some adjustments um, I dared to be great. I stepped into the challenge, but the challenge was just too great for me. Going up two weight classes after a long layoff, if I, I at the last, you know, I, I wanted to be a have a better performance, but um, you know, mentally, physically, it was it was too tough of a challenge. And in the fight, I, I felt his power. I did not want to get knocked out and humiliated. Um, and I wanted to see if I could fight to survive and maybe find a moment in where I could have more um, 
display more of my, my skills. He didn't say that. I don't know how you could respond after a loss and say the right word. Sometimes it takes, when people make a mistake, you gotta have a whole PR team come up with a whole prepared speech to say the perfect words, to kind of spin stuff around, to make you look a little better. So what we got from him at least was raw and authentic. He was like, well, I didn't get knocked out like the other guys, which he didn't. So you can't really be mad at that. You can take from it what you will and say he fought to survive, but Caleb Plant didn't fight to survive and he got knocked out. And he that's his rate class. Billy Joe Saunders, that's his weight class. Did he not fight to survive? He got knocked out too. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yildirim. And he got knocked out in like the first or second round in his weight class. Eh, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm not, I just can't be too hard on uh, Jamel like he wasn't fighting, like he wasn't fighting one of the best boxers of our time. Now, Canelo should be getting a lot of criticism. Because he did what he had to do, but you still fight somebody two weight classes smaller than you and you're supposed to knock this dude out. You just had a tune-up fight with John Ryder. You was in the best shape that we've seen you in in a long time. I still want to say how would Canelo have looked if he would have fought B-Ball because B-Ball said he can come down to that weight class. So either that, we want to see Canelo versus B-Ball in a rematch at 168, or we want to see him against David Benavidez. I take my hat off to Canelo for getting the victory. He looked good, he had a great performance. I'm not one to hate on Canelo because I respect his 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 um, contribution to the sport. I expect his discipline. I agree with uh, Leonard Ellaby when he say I'm impressed with Canelo because he reminds me of a, a Mayweather in the in the mentality of he's already damn near accomplished everything that he really needs to accomplish to the sport, but he still shows some kind of hunger to continue to add on to his legacy and you don't have to do that like Jamel Charlo undisputed that 154 and everybody and nobody really ever give him his credit he really didn't have to fight Canelo that not that wasn't his fight to fight nobody was even expecting this fight it was a last minute thing where they say we're gonna be fighting Jamal 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 and then boom you fighting Jamel and everybody would to be like ah oh, man okay okay undisputed undisputed well you know hope in one hand and shit in the other hand to see which one fills up the fastest because his hope and his and his you know what i'm saying it's kind of a you, you if you rooting for jamel charlo you kind of got to go into your your kid mentality and hope and say okay maybe it's a long shot it's a shot in the dark but maybe he can pull something out of maybe he can do some magic tricks but we all know logically that that's canelo's fight to win and it's supposed to be in dominated fashion and he's supposed to knock the guy out kind of technically if you want to be honest uh now if Jamel Charlo would have pushed Canelo Canelo probably would have knocked him out so I'm not even going to over criticize Canelo for not getting the KO he did what he had to do he was in great shape he put on a good performance so I you know kind of give him a little nod but I can't just properly salute salute Canelo at this point he did what he's supposed to do I will properly salute Canelo which means I give him all of the respect that he deserves when he either gets redemption with Bivol at whatever weight class, that's up to them to, or he, you know, can can um, finalize his legacy by fighting the the, the winner between uh, Benavidez versus Andrade. And I would rather see, honestly, no disrespect to Andrade, I want to see David Benavidez in the ring with Canelo, just me personally. You know what I'm saying? And if he goes in there and fights David Benavidez and then he, you know what I'm saying, sails off into the sunset, I salute it. No doubt. If he retires right now, it is what it is. But I'm just not going to put a whole lot of, you know, uh, praise into him fighting Jamel Charlo like that was just a fight for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just overly criticize Jamel Charlo, even for the fact that he just fought in there to survive because, you know, it was, it was asking a lot for him. He had a full, full, full plate. You're talking about a hungry, a, a full lion. A lion that's already eaten. Are you a lion? But he already kind of domesticated. He already eating. He already full. And you invite him to another table with more food that he really ain't even asking for. 
and you're asking him to be ferocious. Technically, he's not even ferocious in his own weight division, like fighting um, Tim Zhu would have been would have been enough. And I don't think he uh, was ducking Tim Zhu or anything like that. I'm just saying he he had already fulfilled. And he had already just finished satisfying the appetite, becoming undisputed. And you're trying to find that hunger. And then you're gonna come to the to the table with a damn rhinoceros or elephant that you gotta eat one bite at a time. Most lions don't do like that. Most lions, it's gonna be a lot of carcass left over if you bring a big ass rhinoceros, rhinos, uh, uh, elephant or ox and have one lion to feast on all that. That ain't what lion, you know what I'm saying? So even for a lion that's asking a lot to, to take down something that's bigger than him, faster than him, stronger than him, more experienced, um, and just as, you know, dedicated and ferocious, move on to the next, I mean, I kind of digress. Like I said, I'm not gonna overly criticize Jamel but he should be a little bit disappointed, but that should also ignite and initiate a hunger back in him for whatever weight class, either if it's his weight class or 160, but it should initiate some kind of hunger in him to go out there and uh, dominate until it's time for him to, you know what I'm saying, too long in the tooth and it's time for him to no longer hunt at all. He did, but that was, that was never his, mountain for him to go out there and die on that was never his shield to go out there and, and die on that was never really his sword to try to pick up and and uh you know go to war with so i can't really overly criticize him now people want to see terrence bud crawford versus saul canelo alvarez that's another video for another day in this video it's been a minute since i did a video 22 minutes long so i salute y'all i hope you follow my logic I am a little bit disappointed in Jamel Charlo because I thought he would have a little bit more deep down inside for him to put forth some effort in, in to, a, to an extent to where you could applaud it. But this right here, I'm not gonna give a thumbs down or a thumbs up, it's one of these. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those. It's just like Jamel Charlo, you go deal with what you gotta deal with, but no, he should not hang his head low. But don't have your head up too high neither with all this pride and beating your chest, none of that. But don't put your head down. You ain't got nothing to put your head down about. Look yourself in a mirror as a man, as a warrior, as a gladiator, as a fighter, and know that you still accomplish something that most people will never, ever, ever, ever get off their couch to even take the first steps to do. You put in the work, got a big paycheck. People mad at you for getting a big paycheck. I don't get it. I can't understand it. It's not like you didn't do nothing to get that check. You 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 put in some work in your career to get to that point to get that check. And it's not like you just got a hundred million dollars. Look ten million dollars or something like that, you know what I'm saying? coming off of a hand injury and going up two weight classes and fighting Canelo. I sal I salute that. Take care of your family. Uh, I hope hope that you ignite a hunger to go off and do some things to get more redemption from the fans. And if there's anything that you lost lost in sight of yourself, where you say, you know, okay, I got now I got to put my family off to the side a little bit. I got to put my family off to the side a little bit, and I got to get back to really just have a, some, a one more dominant performance to show you that I am that lion. I would appreciate that. I would salute that. And also, lions also, lion, Jamel Charlo was never just the type of lion that was just, you know, some lions, they hunt when it's two brothers and they not fully, fully grown. They'll, they'll be two alphas or two two lions that, that hunt together. It's, it's never going to be the same for me to see Jamel Charlo and Jamal Charlo not be where they need to be in their relationship and then expect them to be just conquering everything around them to me that's always going to be a little unnatural when you got two identical twin brothers that came together this far and then have one of them split this way and one of them go that way and not be together the whole time united to prepare for a fight like this 
that's that's asking a lot, especially asking for the little brother to do what the big brother's supposed to do, and the big brother just pop up at the last minute to give you some love. I understand that Jamal going through a lot, and I hope nothing but the best for him. But that's another thing I just can't overly criticize Jamel Charlo for. You know what I'm saying? He he tried to carry and and pick up the the, the torch and the mantle and, and the lions only moniker or whatever you call that and he tried to do his best to, to, to carry something that two people been carrying for a long time and, and you know now i gotta pick up your loads that that's not easy to do that's a lot to ask for and i have to salute the attempt to step up to the plate swing and a miss or you didn't even swing at all but that's life sometimes you don't swing and now you gotta learn how to you know what i'm saying pick up that sword and swing it again those are my thoughts let me know what you think in the comments below and if you're new to the channel and you can survive for 25 minutes with old nocturnal go ahead and subscribe up